the outside of your house is one of the biggest statements that you can make. Here we are in Notting Hill, which I would say is the capital's capital of colorful houses. I'm gonna take you through five top things to consider when it comes to decorating your exterior, adding your personality onto your front door, or painting your garden furniture. So let's go. First thing, it's the reflection of you. So the outside of your house is really a great place to start your color journey. So what I'd recommend that you do is choose colors that you resonate with, that you love, and that reflect your personality. And even consider like they've done beautifully here is put some pots outside, make it welcoming, like have a happy front door that's in a bright color. Bring a bit of personality, which colors that you love. Second thing is consider the architecture of your house. So I really want to show you these two music houses. So first homeowner, they've decided to go for more of a natural look. So they've left the exposed brick, but they've painted the doors and the windows all in this lovely green color to really complement the outside of the plants that they've gone for. And then come over here, this second one, which is painted all in black, what they've done very clever is, some people would say are all black house is quite a bold statement, but by then decorating the window sills, the door frame, everything, it all blends in and looks incredibly elegant. Just two things to consider is remember your roof tiles and what they look like, and also just make sure that the front door reflects the outside. If you're wanting to stand out, make sure it's for the right reason. These two behind me are contrasting, they're a bold statement, they're a reflection on their personality, but they work perfectly together. Other things to consider that doesn't involve gallons and gallons of paint and sort of loads of scaffolding is thinking about the furnishings that you've got either in your garden or out in the front of your property. This is a great way if you're wanting to go a bit darker, maybe try in a smaller space like a picnic table, or what they've done beautifully here is they reflect the tones of their furnishings with their door so it complements and all blends and ties in beautifully together. Next point would be linking your inside with your outside. So good ways of doing this is if you've got um, your kitchen with green cabinets, taking that green out into the garden, so following your eye out onto either any exterior walls or if you've got a garden shed. Another way you could do is take inspiration from the garden, so any flowers that you've got, and bring those colors into the furnishings, bringing it into the inside and maybe doing a vase of the flowers as well on your kitchen table. And finally, what you really want to consider is the street that you're on and like working with your neighbors. So if you're wanting to blend in and to sort of have a bit of color harmony, the two houses behind me have done this so beautifully. So you've got this beautiful fresh mint exterior on this house and that pulls in with the next door neighbor's garden furniture. So this is a really great way to, to create a bit of harmony with your street. If you're still feeling a little bit nervous, then just start somewhere small. So either just paint the outside of your fence or if you've got a garden shed. Um, if you need further help on colour, leave some comments below and check out our video on what your front door says about you. Click to subscribe for more on colour, styling, house tours, how-to videos and much, much more.